Hi guys, my name is Harman Sidhu and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are doing a super simple vegetarian meal prep below 1500 calories which is ideal for weight loss. Since I'm here on Instagram, I've been requested to make a vegetarian meal prep which of course I did follow on certain days, especially days like Navratras when I don't eat non-veg myself. So here we are cooking this super simple easy vegetarian meal prep. If you still haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please consider doing it and also don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you are notified when I post next. I just wanted to tell you guys that you are always free to add a few hundred calories to your diet and burn more. That is always up to you. Also, I am not a professional dietitian, so this should not be considered like the end diet or this is just all that you need for weight loss. You're always free to consult your doctor or dietitian, whom, whomever you want to. Uh, this uh, whole meal plan is just a rough basic idea to give you an insight into what kind of meal preps I made when I was trying to lose weight and what kind of things worked for me and you have to see what works for you and also you're always free to pick up a few recipes and add it into your diet or switch it and make something else out of it so this is just a basic idea I hope you guys enjoyed the recipe just as much as I enjoyed cooking it and eating it as well don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let's get straight into the kitchen and start cooking I always start my day with a protein powder this one is from bold fit it is a special whey formula designed specially for women i love the taste and i love the feel after it usually i have one scoop at times even two for my breakfast i sometimes love the idea of having overnight oats which i prepare a day before we're adding some rolled oats some flex seed and chia seeds Take a banana, cut it, add half right now and keep half for later. I make it in layers. For this I use one spoon of peanut butter which I divide into two parts. Then we'd add some more oats, some maple syrup and almond milk. You can also use the other milk if you want. We'll add the rest of the oats. I love using fruits raspberries and blueberries you can also add this later once the oats are done overnight add some more chia seeds and flex seeds we'll put in the more added oats put the rest of the banana in the rest of the peanut butter add some more milk and they go in the fridge for the night there you go this is kept overnight. This is how it looks like. And believe me, it tastes yum. I have a cup of green tea at around 11 o'clock in the day with an apple. I always prefer an apple over other fruits. I like to have my green tea during the day and not in the evening times because it gives me sleep trouble. So, so for lunch I'm making a rice bowl with paneer and broccoli. You could also use tofu, whatever you like. This, is, this tastes equally good with both of them depending on how many calories you want to eat. You can add either paneer or tofu of your choice. This also tastes very good with the masala tofu. So just cut the paneer into cubes. Heat the pan. I usually use one or two sprays and we will just cook the paneer on both the sides. Once the paneer is done, you can just cut your broccoli into pieces. For this, I do not like to use the rest of the part of the broccoli and I would rather use it in another recipe. So I just take the cubes of the broccoli and cut them. Again, I use a spray and we will now cook the broccoli and let it cook in its own steam for about a minute.
once you see that the broccoli is cooking with its own steam we are going to cook garlic and ginger once the garlic is done just add the ginger and cook this in the center and then we mix it up add a little water and let the whole thing cook with the lid on once you feel the broccoli is giving you a nice color we're just going to add a little bit of corn flour and mix it add some more water and then we will also add soya sauce to give it a little color some roasted til sea sims and now we'll add the paneer into it or the tofu and give it a mix for this i'm using only 100 grams of pre-cooked rice you just add this on top of it and here you're ready with your best healthiest meal ever for snacks i'm making hummus for that take two cups of uh, chanas chickpeas add two raw uh, peeled garlics salt olive oil sea sam still lemon juice pepper bhuna jeera cumin roasted cumin paprika and now we will blend this into a soft smooth paste this is a very nice dip for snacks you can also spread it on bread and make very good breakfast this is something that remains in our house all the time it tastes really nice with carrots and uh, cucumber for dinner we are making lemon coriander soup this is one of my favorite soups especially for winter take some lemon juice cut the coriander now for this we need beans chopped beans carrots onions garlic ginger heat a pan with a little bit of olive oil add garlic and ginger and let it cook once they change color add onions and let them cook and turn a little translucent that's when we'll add beans carrots and let them cook now we will add some vegetable stock and a little water add in a little bit of salt pepper and give it a mix let it cook with a lid on top for a while and then we'll add a little bit of corn flour this is when you will add lime juice and the coriander leaves later do not add the coriander leaves in the beginning otherwise they will lose color here you're ready with your lemon coriander soup hey guys i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell icon also you can follow me on instagram for more insight into my weight loss journey and more details more tips and more tricks to weight loss postpartum bye thank you for watching the video and hope you guys have a good weekend